Greetings to all. This is Professor Shanavas. So today we are going to discuss graph traversal techniques in data structures and algorithm. This is a given graph, and how to that is uh, traverse this graph. We have two different techniques that is available for traversal. So one is called the uh, BFS and another is DFS. So BFS stands for breadth first search and DFS is depth first search. This is the given graph and uh, from this graph we can start from one vertex and we can uh, reach other vertices. It is nothing but must be an adjacent vertex. In uh, breadth first search, we have to that is uh, search according to the adjacency one after other. The breadth first search it is also called uh, the level order search. We have to complete one level first then we have to that is move on to the next level that is the meaning so let us consider start with uh, this uh, vertex that is one one is the starting vertex and see what are the adjacent vertices for number one that is vertex one current vertex is one and we have that is um, adjacent vertices five seven six so we included here so that um, one the starting vertex is included here so now in the status flag that is enter value that is one for vertex one and remaining all other values are zero so one vertex uh, must be visited only one time okay so once it is visited we need not uh, visit that vertex again that is the meaning so under uh, 1 we have um, three vertices that is uh, 5, 6, 7 that is included and now we dequeue this value that is 1 is dequeued that is removed from the queue and it is stored in the, the traversal output. So here we have written 1. So now the next current vertex is 5. Under 5 we have um, you know other two vertices are there that is 4 and 9 that is included here. And now this 5 is dequeued and included in the traversal output. Okay, So here uh, the output is, um, you know, this is um, 1. We got uh, 5, 6, 7. So 5 is 1, 6 is 1. So remaining other values are 0. So similarly, here we have included this uh, 2 vertices newly, that is 4 and 9. So I include that value, that is... Um, 1 is already there and uh, 4, 5, 6, 7 and then 9. So remaining values are that is 0. Okay. So now the current vertex is uh, 6. Under 6, what is the new vertex? What is the adjacent vertex? That is 10. Include that value here. Okay. And DQ that value that is 6 from here that is included in the traversal output. Now what now we have to that is include this value that is uh, 10 in the list 10 is visited so this is uh, 9 10 so now next uh, the vertex is uh, that is uh, 7 and for 7 see that uh, what is the what are the adjacent vertices that is 9 which is 9, 9 is already visited so that you need not uh, include so what is the new vertex that is the 3 is adjacent vertex include 3 now this uh, 7 is what is that included in the traversal output see once if you that is uh, remove it from the queue and that should be that is included in the output okay so 7 is included right so now um, this um, you know the output is output is 3 is uh, visited so 2 3 is visited remaining all other values are that is same so what is the next uh, output that is a uh, 4 so for 4 check check it 
we have uh, uh, adjacent vertex that is 2 and uh, uh, only 2. So, include that value that is 2 and now what you have to do? You have to include the value that is 2 in this. Okay, so 2 is best. Now, what is the next current vertex is 9. Okay, take the value that is 9 and include in the that is uh, see that uh, output of that is adjacent vertex of 9 is 2 which is already that is included in the list need not uh, do anything just uh, mark the values as it is okay so under um, under 9 we have that is um, we have only these three values so 9 that is uh, 2 is already there so now we dq the value that is 10 so under uh, 10 c 10 is uh, connected with uh, 8 we include this value that is 8 now and dq 10 and include in the output Eight is included. Okay, so now we have to that is um, dq the value that is a three for three we have that is a two and eight. Wait, already that is a, this a two and eight. Everything is over side. Already visited. So mark one here. And similarly for two we have that is a only there is a eight is there. Similarly last one also. This this represent uh, the status of um, you know the vertices whether the particular vertex is visited or not that is indicated by this you know the flag it's nothing but a flag okay now we have uh, you know completed our uh, search so see that uh, starting from uh, this one the vertex one yeah. as I said it is a level order so that is a complete one level then go to the next level so here we have that is uh, 5 then uh, 6 then 7 okay then from 5 we have that is uh, 4 then uh, the vertices are 9 then from 6 we have that is uh, 10 similarly go to 7 from 7 we have that is uh, 9 and uh, 3 3 9 is already visited so from 7 this 9 is already visited so now go to the next level that is 4 4 from 4 we have that is 2 then uh, 9 from 9 that's 9 from 9 we already that is uh, what's that we have that is 2 is already visited then uh, go to 10 10 we have that is uh, 8 8 from um, from 8 that is uh, 8 that's all from uh, 3 from 3 we have uh, 8 that is already there similarly 7 to 9 and uh, this 2 to 9 so everything is finished now I am going to write um, the output for this tree breadth first such tree okay so that is 1 comma 5 comma 6 comma 7 and then 4 comma 9 comma 10 comma 3 2 comma 8 so this is the output we got you can check it with uh, the you know the algorithm what actually we have worked out we got the value that is 1 5 6 7 4 9 10 3 2 8 so the same output we got here okay so this is uh, breadth first search once if you take uh, depth first search what you have to do see depth first search starting with one you are what is the adjacent is uh, five then go to the next adjacent four go to the next adjacent that is two then the next one that is nine then it is what is that it results in back that is two nine so one then go to that is the next adjacent is 5 for the adjacent 4 is the 4 is the adjacent and then from 4 9 from 9 that is what is that again back to that is 5 so now here we can stop search proceed the search from the next node that is uh, 7 so from 7 it is uh, 3 from 3 it is 8 
from 8 it is 10 so now actually what is that we have another node that is uh, 10 to that is 6 the node is there finish now we can write the output so seeing this 1 5 4 2 9 1 5 4 2 9 then come back that is 7 3 8 10 and finally that is 6 so this is the output of the depth first search and uh, this is the output of uh, the breadth first search i hope uh, you understood the concept of uh, breadth first search and depth first search thank you all the best